Good morning to everybody. Good morning, Good morning, Father. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Psalms and Canticles from Monday of Week 2. When can I enter and see the face of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My chairs have become my bread by night, by day. As I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul. How I would lead a rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mysa. Deep is calling and deep, in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day, the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night, I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When can I enter and see the face of God? Show us, Lord, the light of your mercy. Save us, God of all things. Strike all the nations with terror. Raise a hand against foreign nations that they may see the greatness of your might. Our sufferings prove your holiness to them. Let their downfall prove your glory to us. Let them know, as we ourselves know, that there is no other God but you. Give us signs again, work further wonders. Clothe your hand, your right arm in glory. Assemble all the tribes of Jacob, as when they first received their inheritance. Pity the poor people called by your name. Pity Israel chosen as your firstborn. Have compassion on the holy city, Jerusalem, the place of your rest. Let Zion ring with your praises. Let your temple be filled with your glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show, Show us, us, Lord, the light. the light of your mercy. Blessed are you, Lord, in the vault of heaven. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. 
No speech, no word, no voice is heard. Yet their span extends through all the earth. Their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent. Rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord, Lord in, the, in the vault of heaven. heaven. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, the striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion. They may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns between the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. In my vision, I, John, saw Mount Zion, and standing on it, a lamb who had with him 144,000 people, all with his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound coming out of the sky, like the sound of the ocean or the roar of thunder. It seemed to be the sound of harpists playing their harps. There, in front of the throne, they were singing a new hymn in the presence of the four animals and the elders, a hymn that could only be learned by the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the world. They follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been redeemed from amongst men to be the first fruits for God and for the Lamb. They never allowed a lie to pass their lips and no fault can be found in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is the Lord who sets it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Stay awake and stand ready because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus looked up, he saw rich people putting their offerings into the treasury. 
Then he happened to notice a poverty-stricken widow putting in two small coins. And he said, I tell you truly, this poor widow has put in more than any of them. For these have all contributed money they had over. But she, from the little she had, has put in all she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It wasn't long ago when we have a similar reading. I, is it from Matthew? I don't know. But this is different because in this one, in the other one, Jesus actually called the disciples and tell them, look and observe. No? So he wanted them to know because he wanted it to be a lesson. And even though he doesn't say it here, we know very well that the Lord is trying to tell us something. And so let's look at it again. Observing a poverty-stricken woman with two coins. As one person says, she could have kept one of the coins, but the person said she recklessly gave all away. No? I think most of us would think like that. In fact, I believe that some people would say, I don't think you should give any because you know that you need. But she recklessly gave all away. So she risked all, all she had, all she needed for her survival. And I think that this is what Jesus is looking at. And that is why she, he said, no, she gave more than all the others. They gave of their plenty, which the last time when I spoke about, they said, that's not generosity. No? It's not about giving of your plenty. Generosity is giving what you really need. No? They, when they give of their plenty, they probably give in order to be seen. Because some people do that, huh? Many people in the church give plenty so that they're known to be good givers of the church and so on. Not everybody, but some. But she gave all she had to live on. And this implies, and, and this is very important, that she gave not only of something that is outside of herself, no, but her very self. No, that's very important. And, and that's why it is generosity. It's not something just outside of herself, but the fact that she gave all, the implication is she's giving her very self. No? And it takes a tremendous amount of faith and trust. No? Trust and hope that obviously God will still take care of her. I suppose that when we talk about trust and hope in God, it is very easy because we already have something to live on. But here's a woman who, her, her trust and, 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 and her hope is real. Because otherwise, what is she going to do? She doesn't have any other place to turn to. So it, it, it is tremendous amount of faith, hope, and trust displayed by this woman who is giving herself. And that is why it is also a sacrificial love. And I would say that yesterday I tried to use the prayer of St. Ignatius Loyola to, for us to recommit. The, the Pope want all young people to recommit themselves. So we use that prayer, and uh, that is what the woman did. She said, take, Lord, receive. All I have and possess. No? All I have and possess. You have given it to me. Now I return it. This woman did not seem to bother to calculate before she gave, which is what most of us do. I want to give something to the church, but I have this to buy and I have that to buy. The priest asked for a big donation. He wants everybody to give her $1,000. But if I give her $1,000 and I want to go on my vacation for Christmas, 
in, in Miami that would cut short the amount of money <laughs> I have to spend. <laughs> That, that's how we think we calculate before we give. But he, and again, the Lord wants us to listen up. This woman, she gave without calculating. No? And this is what I call real love. Real love. The Lord wants us to listen, to observe, and to copy her example. And most likely, the, the first reading tells us about the 144,000. Most likely she's among them. Singing a new song before God. A new song that if you put your faith in God and your trust in him and if you hope in his promises, he will never let us down. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. Lord, accept our love and service. Lord, Lord accept, accept our love and service. Christ has given us all a share in his priesthood. We offer our prayers and ourselves in union with him. Lord, Lord accept, accept our love and service. Jesus Christ, you are the eternal priest. Make this morning's offering acceptable to the Father. Lord, accept our love and service. Lord, you are love itself. Grant that we may love you. Lord, accept our love and service. Give us today the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Make us patient, kind, and gentle. Lord, accept our love and service. Give us the discernment to know the needs of our neighbors and give us the courage to love them as brothers and sisters. Lord, accept our love and service, and let us lift up Francis and Jason, our bishops, and let us pray that through their teaching, we may come to understand that God's love for us has no bounds or limits, and that out of gratitude for such unconditional love, we should keep the new commandment of love, love one another as I have loved you, we pray. Lord, accept our love and service. We lift up the sick to you, O Lord, and praise them in your healing love and fill them with your healing power. We pray. Lord, accept our love and service. Grant, dear Lord, our daily petitions and help us to use all you have given us to bless and glorify your name. We pray. Lord, accept our love and by the power of the Eucharist at work in us, help us imitate your generosity and self-giving love so that we may give freely and generously of all that we are and possess to our neighbor. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, Humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, May we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity. Cleanse us.
from our sin. Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, our God, the sacred offerings, which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Uh, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ Jesus our Lord and God. In him, you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them, like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it, to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and we lift up to the Lord. Ralph, 
Lucille Hollis, Bobby Charles, Karen Ennis, the Hickson family, Kenry Chifun, Veronica Hernandez, Rosita Fabian and family, the Marie family, Mr. and Mrs. Mendez and Mrs. Griffith and Malton Fabian. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God our Father, using the words that Jesus our brother gave us, thanking Lord for the example of the widow and for Jesus' his own example, the giving of self that we might have life. And as we call on God our Father, we lift up Brenda Gabriel, asking the Lord to be with her as she undergo surgery. As we dare say, our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven. heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the power and, and the glory, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give to you Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace. of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have My sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
If we eat of the Lord and we drink of the Lord, like the Lord we shall all be. Then we live with his life and we share in his love and his truth will make us free. The Lord tells us his plans, listen to his commands, to the Father come through me. Share this banquet of love, eat my flesh, drink my blood, do this in my memory. This command, says the Lord, I give specially to you, love each man as I love you. By this sign all will know what I have to bestow through this love man I renew. From this banquet of life, bring my love to the world, be a sign for all to see, that I bring man my peace through the breaking of bread, that I come to make him free. If we eat of the Lord, and we drink of the Lord, like the Lord we shall all be. Then we live with his life, and we share in his love, and his truth will make us free. The Lord tells us his plans, listen to his commands, to the Father come through me. Share this banquet of love, eat my flesh, drink my blood, do this in my memory. This command, says the Lord, I give specially to you. Love each man as I love you. By this sign all will know what I have to bestow. Through this love man I renew. Let us, dear friends, make the art a spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist, full of love, full of life, full of goodness, Lord. And you want to give us these things all the time, Lord. So that is why you are present with us in the Holy Eucharist. Lord Jesus, we love you above all the things and more than Anything else, Lord, we desire to receive you in our hearts and souls and minds. But, Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive you sacramentally. So we beg you to come to us in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, and fill our hearts and minds and souls with your holy presence. Embrace us so that we have that blessed assurance that we belong to you, Lord. And teach us how to embrace you and unite ourselves wholly and completely to you. And Lord, never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has visited us and freed us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, 
He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who are his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, for he has visited us and freed us. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be separated from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Be to God. And have a wonderful day, my beloved. Same Same to you, Father. Number 304, 304, the Kingdom Song. The good news traveling around the world is telling people of the many races of the coming of the Jesus kingdom on the earth. And everywhere the people who believe are finding freedom and a grand relief and from their sins are now set free. Take comfort now, those skies are gray. Jesus will come and he will reign. Take comfort now, those skies are gray. Jesus will come and he will stay. In a prayer in honor of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And enkindle in them the fires of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the, the hearts heart of, of the faithful, faithful by, by the light of the Holy Spirit, Spirit grant us in the same Spirit, Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who are because to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who are because to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who are because to you. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles, the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, Grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who where the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign, God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the Immaculate Conception of your Mother, have wished that a miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Lavery. Grant we beseech you that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. 
memorare. Remember, O most, most compassionate Virgin Mary, Mary that, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. Do you become before you we stand sinful and sorrowful? O Mother of the Word incarnate, despite not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. Novena prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-feeling intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to immortal souls and on the souls for whom we pray. We pray. You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctions of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin, and that purity of heart, which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance, what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are the Queen of Angels and of Men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May, May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties towards you. Ever, Ever while wearing it, May we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son, O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Saviour. Keep us close to you every moment of our lives and obtain for us your children the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mother dear, oh, pray for me, while far from heaven and thee, I wander in a fragile bark, for I stand best to see. O oh, Virgin Mother, from thy throne, so bright and blessed above. Protect thy child and cheer my path with thy sweet smile of love. Mother dear, remember me and never cease thy care till in heaven eternally thy love and bliss. 